Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening and a warm welcome to the first ever virtual ceremony of India Packaging Awards, India's first only pharma packaging awards. I'm Isha and it is indeed my honor to host you on this virtual platform. Today, we honor and recognize those organizations who have set new benchmark in the pharmaceutical packaging space. The India Packaging Award, since its inception, has strived to recognize and celebrate the pharma packaging innovators who spearheaded the industry into greater heights. During these unprecedented times, pharmaceutical companies are responding to the rapid challenges arising from disruption. With innovation and excellence at its center, the Pharma Packaging Fraternity has risen to the occasion to provide safe, sustainable packaging of their products. We at the India Packaging Awards have been overwhelmed with nominations despite the challenges posed by ongoing pandemic. After a careful evaluation of every nomination, our grand jury had a mammoth task of shortlisting and selecting the best in pharma packaging. The pandemic may have dampened many a spirits, but it will not be an obstacle in our resolve of recognizing your efforts contributions and innovations and we are delighted to bring to you this edition of the first of its kind virtual award. We dedicate tonight to those heroes of pharma packaging who have outshined by overcoming every roadblock. We would like to welcome you to the fifth edition of the India Packaging Awards. Like you, we too miss the awards, the cheer, the enthusiasm that we are all familiar with at Sahara Star. When posed with challenges, it brings out the extraordinary solutions and we are happy to bring these awards as close as to possible to the physical reality. In former markets in India, formerly known as UBM India, is India's leading exhibition organizer dedicated to help specialist markets and customer communities domestically and around the world to trade, innovate, grow through exhibitions, digital content, business intelligence and conferences and seminars. Every year, we host over 25 large-scale exhibitions, 40 conferences along with industry awards and so much more. Let's get to know more about Informa Markets globally.
Informa Markets in India has offices across Mumbai, New Delhi, Bangalore and Chennai. Informa Markets is owned by Informa PLC, a leading B2B information services group and the largest B2B events organizer in the world. Let's take a look at a video which summarizes how Informa Markets in India functions. At Informa Markets, right conversations enable rewarding market connections. Informa Markets. Well, that was about Informa Markets, but before we proceed with the award ceremony, I would like to invite Mr. Yogesh Mudra's Managing Director, Informa Markets in India, to please say a few words and welcome our audience. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my team at Inform Markets in India, I think I'd like to heartily welcome everyone who has joined us here for the swift edition of the India Packaging Awards that happens alongside InnoPack Pharma Conflicts every year. As we all know, the world is living under a pandemic and we are delighted to host at such a time something, a delighting experience where we will bring smiles, a recognition and also a source of inspiration do all through this award ceremony that we are bringing to here uh, to for all of you. The first online awards that we are as Inform Markets in India hosting, uh, it, it's going to be a revelation for all of us as well as and it's been inspiring for us to put it all together for all the stakeholders in this pharma packaging industry. Even prior to this event, I think uh, we naturally had uh, we have been doing this process, as you all know, physically over the years. The jury meets used to happen physically over the years, and for the first time, the entire process has been taken virtual, and I'm proud to say how quickly we adopted to this entire nomination process and jury process, which entirely went online. Understandably, I, uh, we can understand this year, the nominations have not been as uh, to the mark which, which we have built year on year, the growth that we are seeing. But having said that, it's, it's encouraging to see people participating at this tough times and wanting to strive for excellence and innovation as an integral part of their work they have been doing in this pharma packaging industry for this year. This awards definitely wouldn't have been possible without the industry encouragement that we have received or uh, every year that we have done this award. So thank you so much for this encouragement that you have given and all the recommendations which you try to package it in every year to show improvements for you as, as we move ahead and deliver this award for you. The best part is that the support of the esteemed jury that we have been getting uh, year on year. I think this year has been no less. I must thank the, the esteemed jury panel who has supported this event this year, especially Mr. Chakravarti, AVPS Global Ambassador in the World Packaging Organization, Mr. Ashok Bhattacharya, former Executive Director Takeda Pharmaceuticals, Mr. Sanjay Jain, President Amnil Pharmaceuticals India, and Mr. Dara Patel, Secretary General at IDMA, Indian, Indian Drug Manufacturers Association. As we are gathering here today here for the awards, I think uh, when the pandemic in fact hit us, uh, we started a social media campaign called the Safe Packaging Challenge to spread awareness about safe packaging in our industry. We launched this campaign uh, and uh, I think I must over here definitely and profusely thank our dear friend Sri Chakravarti who has turned it out into an uh, eminently successful and meaningful campaign especially at a time like this. He took it really personally uh, with the way he promoted it across and uh, it really has resulted wonders in terms of promoting safe packaging across the globe. So thank you so much uh, Chakravarti ji for the support. Coming back to the awards, I think uh, InnoBack Pharma Awards 2020, as I said, has been concretely held with the InnoBack Pharma Conflicts. What a great, fantastic day that we had today. And uh, uh, what, what a line of speakers who came in and spoke and shared their insights and what's really happening in this industry. Thank you so much to all the speakers and decision makers who came in and uh, who are actually sensitizing the country's pharma packaging standards by increasing it day by day. Coming back to the awards, I must definitely thank all the 
all the nominees who have taken time out to nominate uh, and put those heartfelt nominations and don't be disappointed there can only be few winners and uh, definitely do come back i think everybody this year should be uh, treated as a winner for actually getting through this grueling process and coming here so thank you and i think let 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 us all be inspired by the winners who who really have come through this grueling process to uh, shine over here today evening so i'm sure you will enjoy this evening that me and my team here at info markets in india have put it up together it's been a it's been an enriching experience for all of us here and we definitely would look forward to bringing such more initiatives in the future uh, as and when the time comes so thank you enjoy this evening and have a great time thank you thank you so very much for that kind welcome sir moving on i would like to invite professor priya penar president world packaging organization to give away a special address to our audience well a very good day to all of you from australia what a year 2020 has been what pressure the pharma industry has felt with all of 2020 focusing on our health then is staying healthy recovering from poor health or preparing the future health care this has been a significant year for the pharmaceutical packaging industry as you celebrate the creativity of outstanding new innovative packaging over the past year i thought i might share a few a few aspects on what current trends and developments appear to me for the pharma packaging industry more than ever the pharma packaging industry needs to be alert to the increasing demands of the consumer as a result of the major global health scare of 2020 even prior to covid-19 the world was beginning to see a rise in disease diagnosis and treatments and with these changes have come changing consumer preferences and this has placed additional demands on the medical packaging manufacturers to develop new solutions the coronavirus pandemic has certainly increased demand for preventative medical treatments from both health clinics and consumers all in lockdown and they who rely on packaging to deliver their items safely and keep them safe from infections packaging that allows for self medication is going to become increasingly more important rates of diabetes and other diseases are on the rise across the developed world this means an increased need for convenient self injection packages that allow patients or caregivers to administer drugs with greater ease as lockdowns continue and social distancing stays around for a while these people who are confined to their homes and are unable to visit medical practitioners will need safe self administering units more than ever before this growing demand for self administering drugs has informed and developed an of advanced auto injector system such as insulin pens self injectables for asthma autoimmune disease hepatitis c and other manageable health conditions and for other uses such as hormone therapies and emergency treatments packaging manufacturers will need to stay informed regarding the latest self administering drug packages as these can vary considerably in size in shape and compared to traditional medications may not be compatible with existing manufacturing processes it goes almost without saying that safety offering through packaging is becoming an increasing priority particularly with growing trends of online pharma purchasing pharma manufacturers will need to guarantee their direct home buyers that the packaging of their products can withstand the rigor of the supply chain as well as protect the receiver when packs are opened and handled at home sterile and antiviral packaging are daily words now for all pharma packaging this need for protection in all matters related to packaging has meant consumers 
has shifted their focus from the emphasis on sustainability to the more urgent need for protection. This has led to the reintroduction of rigid plastics with more reliable barrier properties. The challenge for the pharma packaging industry is going to be regaining that balance between 100% protection and sustainability. Safety does not have to mean sacrificing sustainability. However, there is exciting new research into antibacterial and antiviral polymers and biopolymers for pharmaceutical packaging that, if successful, will be less toxic and more environmentally friendly than the standard plastic packaging. The outsourcing of pharma manufacturing to markets such as the Indian pharma market, I anticipate will only increase. It is vital, therefore, that the Indian pharma market and pharma packaging industry maintain strict safety and quality checks to ensure consistent standards and global compliance is met. These laws and the guidelines change frequently around the world. Pharma packaging will need to ensure someone is appointed to remain current. A pressing issue at present is the ongoing implementation of advanced serialization technologies across packaging and processing in an effort to combat counterfeiting. Businesses that commit to overhauling their systems for serialization should use the opportunity to explore more digital solutions that could improve efficiency, lower costs, and help them to meet targets into the future. As the WPO president, I want to encourage each of you to consider the importance of ongoing education as a particularly important component of your industry. Keeping up with the new trends and developments in the current and future climate can be overwhelming at times. You are fortunate to have in India one of, your, one of our WPO ambassadors, Mr. Chakravati. Please do not hesitate to contact him about appropriate WPO courses that you yourself can do or your employees. We are passionate about educating people to produce a higher quality of packaging of consumers and for our globe. I congratulate all the winners. The packaging industry needs your commitment and creativity. Thank you for the opportunity to share with you in this way. Thank you, sir. Moving forward, may I now invite Mr. Hasmukh Rawal, Managing Director and Founder, MyLab Discovery Solutions, to address our audience, sir. Hello to all the pharmaceutical professionals present on this platform. It is a pleasure to be here and delivering a special address to the doers of the industry. Great to be part of a platform that recognizes the pharmaceutical packaging industry for their efforts, contribution and innovations. Uh, I would like to congratulate all the packaging industry that have played a very important role in the value chain of healthcare delivery. Without proper innovation uh, on packaging, no pharmaceutical or diagnostic company could serve the world the way it should be. Who could not uh, relate this to current COVID situations where uh, we ourselves have been held in a great way by innovations towards packaging industry. The innovation in packaging industry is astonishing and I think active industry player can only take it to the better level. I am in beneficiary of packaging industry and I can be just what I am. Very thankful. While I am no expert in packaging industry, but I can share my learning in diagnostic, uh, the way we, we achieve it and uh, I think the same rules of principle uh, will flourish any other industry, be it, be it a packaging industry. So uh, any uh, industry or any business to be a successful, it needs 4i uh, support or pillars uh, of, the, uh, of the way things work. Uh, the first of this is infrastructure, second is inclusions, third is innovation and fourth is information. I will correlate it with the diagnostic industry uh, but the same rules of principle will be applying to the packaging industry as well. For infrastructure, any industry to be the best uh, in, in it, the most important part is the innovations which we do has to be in-house and keeping the IP in-house is very important but for that we have to have an infrastructure 
where we can do a good R&D, good product development and the institutions and uh, private uh, industry is collaboration is very very important in this. So manufacturing infrastructure, research infrastructure is very important be it uh, diagnostic, pharmaceutical or a packaging industry. We need many companies which are uh, in this light not only in terms of packaging products but even the raw material for the packaging components. Until unless we don't have everything in house we will never be Atman Nirbhar in terms of entrepreneurial solution we deliver to the country and the world. Second is inclusion. So there are so many components uh, or players which are involved in packaging. Packaging industry does not only involve the, the, the components which are needed for the packaging but also the upward integration. For example in diagnostic we need labs to reach the rural areas as well. Until unless we don't include urban and rural area it won't help. Same way I think all the stakeholders uh, which are involved in packaging industry should have a front seat in terms of developing policy and a viable infrastructure for the country. Third is innovation. Without innovation no industry will suffice for us. We have to be keep working towards innovation uh, in, a, in a nimble action. Uh, with the support of financial and strategical uh, with the financial and strategical support yes we can bring the change and which we have seen in the, even in a diagnostic, within five weeks from the first approval of the product, our whole country has been Atmanirbhar or in, is still sufficient to deliver the solution for the masses. Same way, without innovation in terms of packaging industry, uh, the, which is a major pillar, uh, we would uh, be lagged out. So that is very important. And more funds from the government as well as uh, in terms of other activities, the organization should put forward it. And the fourth and most important is information. No innovation is going to be useful until unless it it reaches to the masses. Uh, let's see in diagnostic industry, uh, most of the common people are also aware about what kind of tests, what kind of solutions are there because the way the information has spread it. So same way, whatever innovation we do through it, through the uh, through the uh, through such conferences as well as through other sources, we have to make sure that the most common users also get aware about it. Information reaching to them will change, uh, make miracles out of it. And uh, even uh, once they are aware about the packaging uh, innovations, uh, it, it will definitely help you. So sharing is growing. So that is also a very important aspect. So with four, these four eyes, I would like to also thank all the uh, stakeholders of uh, uh, this platform. And uh, uh, let me thank you and thank you for believing uh, Atma Nirvarta in terms of solutions when we deliver uh, innovative solutions for the masses. Thank you all. Thank you so very much, Mr. Ravel, for that special address. I'm sure our audience has a tremendous lot to learn from you. And taking the evening ahead now, I would like to invite Mr. Ranjit Paul, Group Director in Pharma Markets in India, to share his valuable inputs on the awards process. Sir? Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the fifth annual India Packaging Awards. This edition has a very special place uh, in all our hearts uh, as this year, you know, we stand in front of you, virtually of course, beating all odds and bringing uh, to you the first ever virtual awards uh, for the Indian pharmaceutical industry. The concept of the virtual awards uh, has been well received uh, by the pharma packaging fraternity. The nominations uh, for the awards started coming in since uh, mid-June 2020, uh, when we decided uh, to take awards virtually this year. We reached out uh, to the industry via direct communications, uh, be it uh, phone calls, uh, emailers, digital uh, media, and I'm happy to inform you that you know we have received over 60 nominations uh, for this edition. In addition to taking the awards virtually, we successfully took the nomination process digitally as well. The team at Informa Markets have vetted each nomination for its completeness and would get back to the nominees as and when uh, there were gaps. On the 28th of August 2020, we successfully conducted the first of its kind uh, virtual jury meet uh, for, uh, for the India Packaging Awards. After careful evaluation of every nomination, the jury finalized uh, their scores by the 31st of August. These scores uh, have been tabulated by, by the awards management. Uh, and I would like to thank uh, our esteemed jury for taking time out of the busy schedules uh, to be an integral part of these awards. Also the nominees uh, who have shared their nominations despite 
the challenges posed uh, you know, to the industry during these uh, testing times. Uh, I would like to also wish uh, all the nominees uh, the very best and congratulate all the winners uh, you know, of, of the 5th uh, India Packaging Awards uh, who have worked very hard uh, and deserve the honour best um, uh, by these awards. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Mr. Paul, for letting us know the process of the awards. But without the jury members, none of this would have been possible. So I would like to take a moment to thank our jury who took out time from their busy schedule to evaluate the nominations remotely. Let's hear what they have to say about the process and the various nominations that came their way. India Packaging Awards, probably the, the only exclusive pharmaceutical packaging innovation awards by Informa Markets. I'm very glad that I've been associated with these awards uh, ever since inception. Well, uh, as you are aware, this time uh, the evaluation has to be done not physically, but uh, electronically. This is a good experience. Uh, India Packaging Awards in the future? Yes, definitely, uh, because uh, it is coming from a reputed organization like Informa Markets uh, and uh, with a high uh, regard for the transparency of the judgment, uh, these awards are going to help uh, people to think better. And uh, in fact, they are re they ava these awards, this kind of awards are really, uh, in a way, encouraging for people. Their uh, innovations getting rewarded means uh, it's it's a it's a big uh, uh, pride of a moment of pride for the people also. And uh, definitely, uh, they come out with uh, more and more innovations in the coming years. That way, uh, Informa is doing a great job uh, bringing out this India Packaging Awards. Uh, it was a fantastic experience as a jury because it gave me an opportunity to really learn about new things happening in the pharmaceutical industry in India. This year, when I was looking at the entries, the quality of entries were very high, highly competitive. It became extremely difficult because it was so close with each other. Life was not easy to really judge. But let me at the same breath tell you, everyone is a winner because every single entry had something new, some innovative ideas as far as the packaging is concerned. Thanks for triggering the thought in the pharmaceutical industry to think about patient convenience, to think about packaging as one of the major ingredients in pharmaceutical product. I really see India packaging awards in the pharmaceutical industry is going to become bigger and bigger in the coming years and help the Indian pharma industries and the patients globally. Thank you. Hi, this is Dara Patel. I'm the Secretary General of uh, the Indian Drug Manufacturers Association. And I've been associated with uh, Informa Markets for the last several years. And it was a pleasure being part of the jury for the packaging awards. Uh, it was very pleasant and exhilarating experience uh, for me evaluating a good number of entries that we received in eight categories from almost 20 companies. This was the first ever virtual uh, judging of awards, and it was therefore certainly a very different experience since we were all confined to our offices and working independently, individually, as against uh, working in a group uh, where, where a lot of us were present together, exchanging ideas, and uh, then coming to a conclusion. So it was a different experience uh, altogether. There was a fine blend of uh, excellent, good, and fair entries, I must say. I take this opportunity to wish all the uh, participants who participated in the awards all the very best. A good job done by all of them. Everybody deserves an applaud for some uniqueness in their uh, product. But as they say, the best man wins. And so the best products have won. And I would like to congratulate all the winners in advance for a fabulous job done because packaging is something very, very important, which preserves the product well, which is required to be very safe, keep your product safe, keep it safe from the children, keep it user-friendly for the senior citizens and the elders. So it's a big challenge. I would also like to congratulate the organizers in Forma Markets for doing a wonderful job year after year. And I would like to wish them all the very best in the future.
Thank you. Evaluating India Packaging Awards for 2020 was a different experience. Team of Informa Markets created a great platform for evaluating the nominations for annual India Packaging Awards 2020. It was absolutely hassle-free as all relevant information was uploaded for each nominee. There were good number of nominations in various categories. I congratulate to all the participants for their splendid work in innovation and improving the packaging of pharmaceutical product. I think with a lot of technology enhancement in future, I see that there would be more work and opportunities to take the packaging to the next level. I wish good luck to all the participants. Thank you so very much for sharing your experience with our audience. Before we move ahead with the first category of awards, I would like to share with you that when the pandemic was on its onset, in order to spread awareness of the safety and innovation in packaging, we at Informa Markets in India began a campaign called Hashtag Safe Packaging Challenge on social media, where we got numerous participation from various parts of the country. This campaign was spearheaded by none other than Mr. Chakravarti AVPS, who is a veteran of the industry and somebody who truly believes in taking the cause of safe packaging challenge forward. We thank you, sir, for your continuous support. And of course, everybody believes in you, the influencer that you truly are and the way you change people's life. So thank you so very much for that. The first winner has been decided upon by the gentleman with whom we started the campaign, that is Mr. Chakravarti ABPS. Sir, may I please request you to announce the winner based on which nominations you found best. You just heard the background of why we started this Safe Packaging Challenge. For the simple reason, just to spread the awareness of packaging all over the world and bring, those, bring up those memories of packaging which help the mankind to provide safe products for their living. Well, there have been several, several innovative packaging uh, posts, uh, on, uh, especially on LinkedIn, uh, apart from other social media, be it uh, Kaushik's uh, monolayer tube or uh, Gautam's Tide Eco box or Meenakshi's the carryable uh, he self-heating box and so many other uh, innovations. Soumya's uh, uh, LDPA vial for ophthalmic solution. There are so many, in fact, uh, more than 60 uh, innovative posts and uh, they really spread over the awareness of packaging worldwide, uh, widely viewed and widely applauded all over the world. But at the end of the day, I have to choose uh, three uh, innovative packs. Uh, so uh, I chose uh, those three uh, in the order. The first one from uh, my friend from Australia. Ms. Nerida Kelton, the Executive Director of uh, Australian Institute of Packaging, who posted uh, Hazelden's uh, Chicken Farm uh, Sealed Air uh, Tray Packaging, which not only uh, enhances uh, more than 25% of shelf life, but also uh, complies with the safe food because of its uh, easy openable film and easy openable features and whatnot. In fact, this is a winner of gold, winner for uh, Safe Food uh, Special Award at uh, World Star Awards too. Congratulations, uh, Nerida Kelton. And the second one goes to Mr. Sriman Benerji for his uh, child resistance packaging post, uh, which is locked for kids, which is the best uh, so far uh, in the child resistance proven uh, cotton. At the same time, uh, as you know, it's very, very senior friendly too. Very easily accessible for uh, adults, uh, I mean. So that is another uh, innovative post. And the third one, uh, it is a simple one, but uh, very, very important one. Uh, most Indians and most Asians like uh, the sweets. Gulab Jamun, a single serve pack, uh, which is uh, microwaveable uh, with, uh, with a, a built-in spoon in it. Uh, with a small pack, uh, uh, the Gulab Jamun pack by Rutuja Deshmukh. So congratulations to all these three winners, uh, Mrs. Narida Kelton. Mr. Sriman Benerji from Takeda and uh, Rutuja, uh, Rutuja from Packaging also. Congrats to the three winners. Well, many, many congratulations to the winner. 
The next set of winner under safe packaging challenge is for social media posts with maximum likes and comments. I would now like to request Mr. Yogesh Mudra's Managing Director, Informer Markets in India to please announce the same. The recognition for the maximum likes goes to Subdev Singh Saini, Packaging Lead at Colgate Palmolive for his post on packaging for milk and water. This, as we all know, are the two basic commodities. Imagine the absence of this in packaging and what would have been the scenario. Congratulations once again to Mr. Sudev Singh Saini on winning this contest. The second winner for the maximum comments on social media goes to Mr. Atul Mure, General Manager Packaging Development, Cadilla Pharmaceuticals, for his post on injectables packaging for COVID-19, which is not only a very special and unique pack, but also provides stampered evident features and also safety for cold chain compliance through the supply chain journey. Congratulations to all the contest winners of the Safe Packaging Challenge. Thank you. Enjoy the evening. Many, many congratulations to our first winner for maximum likes and the winner is Sukhdev Singh Saini. Fantastic work done. Congratulations. Let us also wish the very best to our second winner for maximum comments and the winner is Atul Mule. Applause is in the house and uh, our best wishes with the winners right here. Well, as we move forward, today is all about acknowledging the best in the pharma packaging industry and honoring them. Now, the moment has finally arrived and it's uh, time for our first segment of awards. The first category of awards is Excellence in Packaging Machinery, Machinery Manufacturers and the nominees are ACG Inspection Systems, Spookfish Innovation and to announce the first winner's name, I'd like to request Mr. Ashok Kumar Bhattacharya, former Executive Director at Takeda Pharmaceuticals India Private Limited to please do the honours. Sir? And the award now goes to ACG Inspection Systems Private Limited. Congratulations, ACG team. Many, many congratulations. Moving on further, I would like to request uh, the kind presence of uh, Mr. Bhattacharya for this award as well, the award category of Excellence in Integrated Drug Delivery Systems Design. And uh, let's get to know who the leading nominees were. Orbindo Pharma. Abbott Healthcare, IPC Healthcare, Owen Mumford Pharmaceutical Services, Pactonet and Walpar Collaboration, West Pharmaceuticals Packaging India. And let's get to know from Sir who is taking home the winner's title. And the award goes to Aurobindo Pharma Limited. Congratulations to the team. Yes, indeed. The award goes to Orbindo Pharma Limited. Many, many congratulations. Let's hear what the winners have to say. We uh, take active part and be into the competition with one of the unique designs. And in the similar line, how we create value to the customer is uh, to be patient friendly prior to that, to see that the product it stands still, it's shelf life and uh, we try to use a packaging material where the patient should not be finding it difficult to uh, open or you know the way he uses on a day to day activity. Our major goal you know how we contribute to the world you know as a packaging, you know, packaging being a secondary, a product being the primary but this would be the first phase of the product where we try to see and keeping the current environmental requirement, sustainable packaging or a patient friendly or we have to give a product which has to be consumed by a senior citizen. So that makes a huge role, you know, our packaging uh, team as it makes a huge role and it impacts the product performance also. So we do take care of these activities and we have been fairly successful in that. Well, as we congratulate our winners, next up we have the award for the category of excellence in anti-counterfeiting packaging and I'd like to request Mr. Bhattacharya to please stay on as I share the leading nominees, Abbott Healthcare, Orbindo Pharma, 
Biological E, Heterobiopharma, IPC Healthcare, Johnson & Johnson. May I now request Mr. Bhattacharya to please announce the name of the winner. And now the award goes to Abbott Healthcare Private Limited. Congratulations, Abbott team. Many, many congratulations to the team at Abbott Healthcare and let's see what they have to say about this big win. Abbott has introduced a security blisters for Tufastone that has helped the patient to differentiate between the fake and original product. Uh, security foil of Tufastone is very highly secure printing used in this process. It has eight security design overt and covert features and it is printed using 10 color printing must printing uh, machine thank you so very much mr Patacharya. and as we wish the very best to our award winner it's time for us to move on to our next award category of excellence in enhanced user experience and the leading nominees are heterobiopharma ipc healthcare johnson and johnson Lupin, West Pharmaceuticals Packaging India. And to share with us the winner's name, may I please invite Mr. Sanjay Kumar Jain, President, Amnil Pharmaceuticals India, to share with us all the excitement that we've created. And the winner is Hetero Biopharma Limited. Many, many congratulations to our winners there. Next up, we have the award for the category of excellence in R&D. The leading nominees are Abbott Healthcare, Amnil Pharmaceuticals, ACG Inspection System, Caprihens India Limited, Embalso India Packaging, IPC Healthcare, Owen Mumford, Pharmaceutical Services and to announce the winner's name may I once again request Mr. Jain to please do the honours. And the winner is Abbott Healthcare Private Limited. Many many congratulations to our winners. Let's hear as to what they've got to say. At Abbott, innovation uh, is not a catchphrase, it's a way of life. What we do is the insight-driven uh, solution for products, packaging and services to address the unmet needs for the market to enable the people to live healthier life. We have used this insight to develop the unique pill-dose cap for Thyronom. Thyronom pill-dose cap has various unique features like it has the control dispensing, it also has a embossed tech on empty stomach to enable the patient of thyroid to take the medication in empty stomach it also very easy and convenient to use it also has a smart code that uh, connect the packaging uh, with the patient through a smartphone gives all the information and videos about the product well our best wishes to you and next i'd like to move on to our next award category of excellence in sustainable packaging others and the leading nominees are ipc healthcare Roche Products India. And once again, may I please request Mr. Jain to announce the name of the winner. And the winner is Roche Products India Private Limited. Many, many congratulations to the entire team of Roche Products India Private Limited. Next up, we have the award for the category of excellence in sustainable packaging, solid dosage. And the leading nominees are Orbindo Pharma, IPC Healthcare, Nolato Serbo 80. And to present the award and announce the winner's name, may I please request Mr. Dara Patel, Secretary General, Indian Drug Manufacturers Association. Hi, this is Dara Patel. I'm the Secretary General of the Indian Drug Manufacturers Association. Thank you for the opportunity. I would like to announce the award for the category Excellence in Sustainable Packaging Solid Dosage. And the winner is Aurobindo Pharma Limited. Congratulations.
Many, many congratulations to our winners. Let us now move forward to our next category of award, which is excellence in packaging, design, graphics, and brand value add. Our leading nominees are up on the screen for you. Cadila Pharmaceuticals, IPC Healthcare, Lupin Limited, Olympus Premedia. And to announce the winner's name, I'd once again request Mr. Dara Patel to please do the honors. I would like to announce the award in the category of Excellence in Packaging Design, Graphics and Brand Value Edition. And the winner is Cadilla Pharmaceuticals Limited. Congratulations. Many, many congratulations to our winners and let's hear what they've got to say. How excited are they at this win? We are first in the world innovation for the treatment of cardiovascular diseases, lung cancer and tuberculosis. Being a packaging expert, we always focus on drug compliance, patient safety, customer satisfaction and use of sustainable and recyclable packaging. Well, it's time for us to now share with you our next category of award, which is excellence in packaging design, print and production quality. Our leading nominees are Biological E, Lupin, Medior Life Care LLP. And to announce the award, may I please request Mr. Chakravarti AVPS, Global Ambassador, World Packaging Organization to do the honors, sir. Excellence in packaging design print production quality and this award goes to any guesses Lupin Limited congratulations many many congratulations to Lupin Limited let us hear what they've got to say about taking home this award we at Lupin believe that Developing better, more cost-efficient, sustainable and consumer-connected packaging sets a stage for innovation and as a team we are committed to it. Being a Lupinite, customer focus is one of the important parts enshrined in our core values. While developing any pack, consumer experience and consumer convenience are at a prime focus. In recent past, packaging has come under increased scrutiny and had to adapt to ever-changing consumer and environmental requirements. Being a packaging professional, it's our responsibility to look for new ways and to create a culture of innovation to develop more consumer friendly and sustainable packaging. Thank you. It's time for us to bring to you our award for the category of excellence in packaging design, shapes and structure and the leading nominees are Orbindo Pharma, IPC Healthcare. To present this award, to announce the winner's name, I'd once again like to request Mr. Chakravarti AVPS to please do the honors. Excellence in packaging design, shapes and structures. Any guesses of this winner? This award goes to Arabindo Pharma Limited. Congratulations, Arabindo. Well done. Many, many congratulations to our winners. Well, this is what brings us to our last category of award for the evening, which is Packaging Team of the Year. And uh, we also have the leading nominees for you right here, Orbindo Pharma, Abbott Healthcare, Lupin. And to share with us uh, the winner's name, may I once again request Mr. Chakravarti AVPS to do the honors. Thank you, Isha. Well, this award is very critical and important too. Packaging team of the year. The most important team, packaging team of Indian pharmaceutical industry. And this award for this year goes to Abbott Healthcare Provide Limited. Congratulations. Many, many congratulations and what an absolutely fantastic win there. Our best wishes to the entire team of Abbott Healthcare. And here we'd like to request uh, all of you to hear out what they've got to say about this fantastic win. 
At Abbott, innovation is not a catchphrase, it's a way of life. What we do is the off and we offer the insight driven solutions in product, packaging and services to address the unmet needs. Packaging innovation and development in Abbott is an integral part of development program for differentiated brand and across the therapeutic area and across the globe. Abbott packaging team is a pool of young and talented packaging technologists, pack design engineer, material science and artwork design engineer. The team is based out of uh, Mumbai development system and solving the local and global packaging needs of Abbott. The primary focus of packaging team of Abbott is on drug device combination, packaging material innovation and packaging digital connect uh, solutions. Now that's a grand way to sum up this wonderful evening. This evening wouldn't have been possible if not for all of you because it's all about you, for you and we are truly grateful that you could be a part of this extraordinary occasion. Before I call upon uh, all the winners, uh, I'd once again like to invite Mr. Rahul Deshpande, Group Director, Informa Markets in India to present the vote of thanks. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Informa Markets India, I would like to extend a hearty vote of thanks to all the speakers, our esteemed partners who trusted us, the award winners for gracing this occasion, and I must mention our deep sense of appreciation for our esteemed jury for their efforts and hard work making these awards a big success even during these trying times. You know, it requires a lot of planning and bird's eye for details to make such big events a success. We have been fortunate enough to be backed by a team of very motivated and dedicated colleagues who know their job and are result oriented. This is to Team Informa Markets for all their hard work and long hours spent to ensure that the event is successful. Thank you to each and every one of you. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you for being with us this evening. It's been a great pleasure. Enjoy your evening and a good night. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. We would like to thank all our partners, nominees, the esteemed guests and the entire team of Informa Markets in India without whom this show wouldn't have been possible. We look forward to seeing you in our next edition up close and personal. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay smiling.